This planet is a game preserve. And we're the game. I first got on this project, I got on only as a writer. Uh, Fox hired me to write another Predator movie. I wanted to go back to the jungle, but I knew we couldn't go back to the jungle, so we, I set it on another planet. You know, the world had changed. Arnold was now governor, and we had to come up with a completely different story, so I leaned on Nimrod here and his writing team to come up with something that still took place on that planet, but um, uh, come up with something new. We need to work as a team. Does this look like a team-orientated group of individuals to you? Well, I mean, it was, it was a horribly intimidating moment of my life, given that I was such a fan of, of, of the Predator films, and he walked in, said, hello, sir, and I said, you had me at hello. <laughs> they can hear you, smell you, and see you. Very much wanted to satisfy the old fan base because we were the old fan base. <laughs> we're like, if we like it, it's going to be good. Yeah, we were definitely, I think, very conscious of the fans, and 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 it was a fine balance of 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 wanting to appease them and give them things that they're going to love, but also taking the material further and, and implementing things that would open up the world even further. What's the last thing you remember? All of a sudden there was a light, and then I was falling. Robert and I both wanted actors, we wanted performance, we wanted to have people on the floor that would really carry this film and, and characters you'd fall in love with. Who are you? I was supposed to be executed two days ago. And I was in combat. So was I. Black Ops. Yakuza. He's a mercenary who reluctantly has to lead this uh, group of killers on this planet. And um, and he was just perfect for that. All these other people, you've just seen him do these roles over and over. It's just not fresh. It's not interesting. I'm just not excited about it. That's what it felt like here. It's like we need to get somebody that's just really good that no one would think of. Um, and Adrian was interested in doing it. And I was like, if you get an Oscar-winning actor wanting to be in a Predator movie, okay, that's stuck out, stuck out so much. How do we kill them? However you can. We made an attempt to, to try to keep it as practical as we could. Um, I think that implementing CG into a film like this has its dangers. But um, I think we found, again, a nice balance of when and how to use it. And, and when we do implement it, it's generally to enhance something. But there's always going to be something on the screen tangible. There's always going to be a, a guy there and, and not, you know, someone with ping pong stuck to their forehead running around. 